And now I'd like to say a few words, obviously, about our own situation in Socialist Appeal, one of the groups that has been targeted for prescription at today's meeting by Keir Starmer, the only Labour leader, the only political figure, probably, whose cardboard cutout has more charisma than he. Now, Keir Starmer is obviously a lawyer in trade, and uh, in the legal world, there's a term known as double jeopardy which means that you can't be tried for the same crime twice. And yet, if the right-wing dominated NEC passes this motion today, supporters of Socialist Appeal, such as myself, who were already expelled several years ago and let back into the party, are about to receive a second letter telling us that we've euphemistically been auto-excluded without the right to appeal or any form of natural justice. The last time that we were expelled was in the 2015-2016 purge, along with thousands of other Corbyn-supporting socialists who were suspended and, uh, and excluded on trumped-up charges. And in the case of Socialist Appeal, we took the Labour Party to court, and the party lawyers said, after squirming around trying to find a reason why we had to be excluded, they said the only reason we were being excluded was because of the crime of supporting socialism. We were guilty of being socialists. Well, if I'm guilty of that crime, I confess to that. They said that we don't support Labour's aims and values. This is what the right wing say. Now, this is extremely rich coming from the right wing. This is from the Blairites and bureaucrats who sabotaged the 2017 general election. These are the people who relentlessly undermined Corbyn's twice democratically leadership in the last five years. These are the people who scrapped the socialist clause for, replacing it with one that calls for praise for the rigours of a dynamic market economy. The same dynamic market economy that Starmer and co are now praising today alongside their patronising flag waving. The right wing accuse us of being organised. They accuse us of being entrious. They accuse us of being a party within a party. But aren't factions like Progress and Labour First also organised? Don't they have influence and funding from outside interests, namely that of big business? Aren't they the entrists on behalf of the Tories? And the establishment, aren't they a party within a party? They are the Tory party in our party. Now, since that initial wave of the purge, we were all let back in. We faced disciplinary panels, we faced proper procedures, and all of these panels agreed that we were legitimate members of the Labour Party and there was nothing incompatible with our support for socialist appeal and our Labour Party membership. Even Tom Watson, the witch finder general, was on one of these panels and had to agree that we deserved to be in the party. Tomorrow, however, we are all expecting, along with thousands of others, to receive a letter informing us of our expulsion once again. Now, this goes way beyond the 3,000 people they're estimating are going to receive such a letter tomorrow. It goes way beyond all of the groups named uh, on the motion today. In other words, this is just the thin end of the wedge. First they are coming for the Marxists, and next they will come for momentum. That is why it is vital that the whole of the left stands up against these shenanigans while we unite and fight against these attacks. The aim of Starmer and the right wing is clear. They want to purge the entire left from the Labour Party. They want to expunge socialism from our party. They want to destroy Corbyn's legacy. They want to return Labour to Blairism. In other words, they want to make Labour a safe pair of hands for capitalism, a reserve team for the Tories. That much is already clear from Starmer's attitude over the last year. He spent more time attacking us, the left, than attacking the Tories. He's tried to outflank them on patriotism, outflank them on right-wing economic policies, tried to provide constructive opposition on the pandemic, which means no opposition at all to this murderous criminal government. Starmer and the right wing have nothing to offer. They defend capitalism, a crisis-ridden, rotten system that is killing us, that is destroying our planet. All they have is reheated Blairism that is destroying our party. 
They are driving Labour into the ground. They lost in Hartlepool. They scraped a narrow victory in Batley and Spen. And now the so-called electable Keir Starmer is still 20 points behind the Tories. But they don't care. They don't care at all because their only concern is for the left to be destroyed. For them, it is rule or ruin. But we won't be intimidated by this aggression and this repression. These attacks just make us even more determined to transform the Labour Party and to transform society along socialist lines. They can try to block and ban as many of us as they like, but as the great French writer Victor Hugo said, you cannot stop an idea whose time has come. And the ideas of Marxism and socialism, they are the ideas of the future. The ideas of Blairism and capitalism, they are the ideas of the past. Marxism and socialism are in the DNA and the lifeblood of our movement. It's the ideas that Starmer and the right wing represent that are toxic, that are alien, that are poisonous to our movement and to the interests of working people. That is why the fight against these bans and expulsions must be also a fight against the right wing. We say no more concessions to these people, no more compromises, no more false unity with these agents of big business and these saboteurs. The only unity we need is that of rank and file activists, of the forces of socialism and the left against the Blairites and the bureaucrats. So I come from Socialist Appeal to make a Socialist Appeal. For those watching at home, join us in the fight for socialism. Join us in saying, Starmer out, socialists in. Starmer out, socialists in. Starmer out, socialists in.